dad influenced me visually. There's no question of that. My mother's uh, love of music really got me interested in playing the piano and, you know, understanding music and loving music. I started uh, piano lessons and I was about 10 years old with a wonderful teacher by the name of Iris Swartz. And he had a studio that had a piano grand, an upright, and one painting, an iceberg painting by Lauren Harris, who was a friend of Mr. Swartz's. And at the end of each year, the better students would put on a recital. And the only people who came who were not related to the students were Lauren and Bess Harris. Expressing yourself is what makes you a really interesting human being as opposed to being just a person, you know, who has blood circulating in his body. I mean, that distinguishes us from some of the other quadrupeds that you see around. Colonel Hall. I've spoken to musicians like Yo-Yo Ma, and Yo-Yo tells me this is the best hall he knows of this size. As a young child, we would sit on the stairs at night and listen to my father playing the harpsichord before we went to bed. It's very much the core of who my father is. That instrument probably knows him better than anyone. When we used to summer in Cape Cod, we used to take our bicycles and my father's clavichord with us. Because, of course, one takes a clavichord on vacation. You wouldn't want to go anywhere without a keyboard. So that's how close he is to his music. That clavichord, if it could tell stories, the places it's been, wow. <laughs> Years later, when I was in Vancouver, I went up to visit Lauren Harris. And by that time, he was an older, frail person. And we shook hands. And about the first thing he said, Michael, are you still playing the piano? And I said, yes, indeed. And he said with tears in his eyes, the most important thing in life is to be able to express yourself. And that's the last time I saw Mr. Harris and I've never forgotten that statement. <laughs>